uh, harvest log day 17 at Overbury and I think it's the 13th of August. Um, well we've had uh, quite a significant rain delay uh, since last Thursday when we we did actually finish the peas and we cut a couple of fields of spring barley, some planted spring barley which is looking quite promising. We had a seven and a half and an eight ton hectare field so uh, that's good. Um, and uh, that, yeah that was Thursday so we've just got going today well yesterday technically um, and we are in uh, Skyfall we're just in the last block of Skyfall it's a 50 hectare block here we started about 11 o'clock this morning no half past 11 probably uh, moistures um, I sampled it last night and it was uh, about 25% so we didn't get going very early this morning but it was just around 20% when we did get going um, it dried down to about 16 and a half um, and we are, I don't know, how much, 12 or something now and, um, and the, the old moisture is creeping up quite significantly. Um, so uh, I don't know how long we'll be able to keep going for. The, the old combine is um, grinding and bumping and thumping away. The straw is quite wet. Uh, the losses, um, not too bad. Bit of rotor loss. Um, but uh, we will uh, probably not be able to keep going for much longer. There is torrential rain forecast, so we're quite keen to try and do that. We're in the last field of that block. This is sand pits. Um, and um, yeah, I think if we were to stay out here, it would be sort of half past four or five o'clock in the morning before we finished it. And I can't see the straw enabling us to keep going for that length of time. Uh, which is a real shame because it is a, a lovely looking crop of wheat out here. Um, rain forecast for tomorrow, which is Wednesday, and then I think Thursday might be dry, but then more rough weather coming in over the weekend again. So, um, not really quite sure when we're going to be able to get back to finish this. Um, it's, uh, it's fairly steady going now. We were combining at around 50 tonnes an hour. Um, sort of in the heat of the day when we had a bit of sun out. Uh, we're about 29 to 30 tonnes an hour now, so um, output's uh, has significantly changed. We were going along at sort of 4.2 kilometres an hour, we're down to two and a half, two point six. 2.6. Um, yeah, still getting wetter. Um, and we shall... Um, yeah, we'll have to see how we get on really, but uh, frustrating time, but not as bad as others. I uh, saw some footage today um, of some oilseed rape up in the north of the country, Northumberland, that's been swathed. Um, and it is absolutely ringing wet, so um, thankfully we've got those, those crops in. Uh, the, the value crops now are these milling wheat crops um, and the malting barley for, for most of course. So, I'd like to try and get those in if we can. Uh, if we could just get another seven to ten days of dry weather, we would um, we would get it pretty much wrapped up. But um, it doesn't look like that at the forecast at the moment. We've got uh, sort of standing water in some of these tram lines here. Um, actually, that's not too bad there. But um, yeah, we've kind of been wading through some parts of the fields this morning or this afternoon. Um, which is uh, it's not doing the soil um, any good whatsoever at all, just compressing it. Um, but actually, if I think back to 2008 and 2012, uh, we had a track machine and we were sinking in, in this very block actually, uh, we were sinking in, well, 2008, I've got a photograph that went into country, uh, Worcester Life, I think it was, um, and the wheels, then we weren't on tracks then, but the wheels were sinking in, all kind of eight to ten inches um, and uh, yeah now we're just sort of skimming across the surface really so I'm sure that the no-till is working in terms of water infiltration and carrying capacity and ability on these fields um, so that's where we are just got to the end of the run here so um, we'll have to see uh, see how we get on